Okay, y'all. I just did an Instagram live and I was talking, well, talking about two things that was bothering me that seemed to like run into each other or whatnot. But getting on this topic. So the manager came from walking this way from the office. She now I know that she can't walk around these apartments. She or she can or can't, I don't know. Or she choose not to, but she don't walk. I know I've noticed that she don't walk around these apartments by herself. Either she'll have her and another person from the office or she'll get one of the managers to walk. I mean, one of the maintenance workers to walk with her. The head maintenance worker to walk with her around the apartments. I'm like, but you the manager. Why the fuck you feel unsafe to walk around your own damn, supposed to be your own damn complex that you leasing out by yourself? The fuck? You can't walk around this shit by yourself? What if you show somebody an apartment? You choose... You always got to have somebody walking around. That's because you always talking shit to people. You always disrespecting people. You always, when you got somebody that you know don't speak Spanish, that you know speaks English, and you sneakingly, the people know that you don't like black people. You sneakingly talk Spanish, purposely, not sneakily, you purposely talk Spanish, speak Spanish around them. And looking at them and laughing at them. Nine times out of ten, of course somebody's going to think you talking about them. And you, because they don't understand what you're saying. Of course they're going to think you're talking about them. I'm not going to just sit there and talk to y'all. So she walked past this way. And she heard me say, I can't dug with that manager. I can't stand her. Which is the truth. I can't fucking stand you. Look at the sneaky shit you're doing. How you treat the people that live over here. How you treat the people that pay their bills. You treat them like they less of a person. You treat them like if anybody Hispanic and they talk or associate with a black person, you treat them and the black person like shit. And it's just fucked up. There, it really is. Y'all, they already don't fix shit on this side of the apartment. Over there, they fixing everything. They kissing everybody's ass. If you act like, if you Hispanic and you act like you don't like black people, oh, trust me, they will kiss your ass all day. You'll be their best buddy. And then, amongst other reasons, added in with this, you wonder why... Every Hispanic that she try to get to stay in here always end up leaving. One, because the rent too goddamn high. She get you in here under false pretenses, then raise the fucking rent. She said, you can't have nothing on your patio. But how many times have I showed y'all that on these patios, these people got all that shit on their patios? Look over there. Come on now. I'm not trying to get you in my video, but look at all that on that porch. I probably can't even see it, but look at all that shit. I done walked through several places. Look over here. All that shit on that patio. You go by the bus stop on TC Just on the sidewalk and look. All that shit on that patio. But we can't have shit on our patio. This side can't. That don't make no damn sense. But it's okay for that side because it's all Hispanic people over here. Maybe like one or two people that are black or black Latinos or Afro Latinos or stuff like that. Other than that, they're all Hispanic. Like the majority of you are all Hispanic. You got like 30 people in one household. I wonder, I'm sitting here like, has this bitch ever heard of any kind of, let me move. Has she ever heard of any kind of apartments have capacities? And then you got motherfuckers parking in spots that's not, that's supposed to be for the fire department. You got people parking in spots like, that's not parking spots like this. It's not a fucking parking spot. It was the car park here this morning. You got a dude park right here by the damn fire hydrant across here. Like, look, that's supposed to be for the fire department. So if something catch on fire, like right here, the apartment, the, um, uh, not the apartment, the, uh, fire truck can't even park right here because it's a fucking car right there. So that's longer, that's an even longer time that the, um, whatever's on, God forbid, if anything catch on fire, it's going to be stay on fire even longer. And then look at this. I'm going to go show y'all this real quick. Like, this, he parked right here. Now, y'all know good and damn well this, what would this line mean? It says, no, it's red because it's no parking. Duh, dumbass. And it's a little line on the other side of this car right here that's for a motorcycle parking or something real skinny. But this here, all by this fire hydrant, anybody with kind of, any kind of common sense wouldn't park right here. And I bet they finna move in those sales. And that's supposed to be restricted parking for the guy that she was talking to that stayed here. But hey. What do I know? I'm just it. looking at the way she talk. Or the way she referred to it. I'm just a dumb black person. 
See, it even says no parking. Zoom in a little bit. No parking. But hey, look at this red line. People park here. People park down there by the dumpster. And then wonder why the dump truck can't come pick up the damn. Why the uh, dumpster ain't picked up the trash. Ain't took out the trash when, it, when times like that happen. That the dump truck can't even get in here. Because you parked in front of it. And then too, y'all. They got nerve enough to do a sign parking. Knowing that half of these people over here. There's households that have 35 dollars. I'm an over exaggerating. But have all these damn people living in their house. Everybody in their damn house got a car. So you give them stickers with it, but you're going to tell me when I had an accident in my car, oh, uh, well, you should have peeled the sticker off your car and brought it back in. Bitch, I just lost my damn car. I was in a damn car accident. Who, who sits there and the first thing off their mind, they think about, oh, let me peel the sticker off the car and go to the, uh, take this back to the office. Bitch, I'm hurt. I have to go to the hospital. What the fuck you mean? Pull the stick off the damn car and bring it back in here. My car totaled. What the hell? But hey. It is what the fuck it is. I'm gonna do this on Instagram live too. Yeah, it just it just don't make no sense. But yeah, I'm in this right here. Thank you for watching. Bye y'all.